hi everyone and welcome back to my channel how are you all doing i hope you are all doing well and staying healthy i hope your loved one are healthy as well i'm sending you kisses everywhere you are in the world today i wanted to take your mind off the reality of our world by creating a very cute simple granny and it's a easy tutorial that anyone could make it is a puff stitch granny and i will of course take you through it slowly but surely as usual so it's just a simple granny that you can make at home with any scrap of yarn that you want i will put the dimensions of the granny in the info box down below as well as all the yarn i use to create this granny so here is the beautiful granny that we are creating today i love the bright colors of it i used the barocco comfort yarn in an array of color but of course you choose the colors that you like everybody has different taste and i would love to see what color you choose when you create this granny and with this granny we are going to create a cardigan it's a cardigan that one of you sent pictures i think it was seen on the series this is us and one of you if you are here thank you so much because you inspired me sent me that picture and one of the actress is wearing it and it's a granny cardigan and i was like oh my god that is easy to create and i will try to recreate this and this is the cardigan right here it came out so so beautifully i love the bright colors the background color is white and then the burst of cheerful color really is what we need right now but of course you can choose any color you want so this is intermediate light i would say or you know beginner uh, plus <laughs> difficulty tutorial if you are not subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for it is totally free come and join our crochet community it's an amazing community and by the way thank you for all your messages thank you for the response to my live stream that was the first time in my life and i was super nervous by the way but you guys were so amazing i might do it again next week but i will try to give you a little more heads up so you don't miss it if you want to join also do not hesitate to send me pictures of the things you are creating with the help of my tutorials that makes me so happy hashtag my name anu crochet hashtag anu crochet design send it to me in facebook messenger send it to me to anu crochet at gmail.com i will post the winner of the last tutorial i had made uh, in uh, the next uh, video the one that i will assemble the card again come and follow me on my social media i never know what side it is and if you are interested in knowing to create first this granny and then the card again then keep on watching in the meantime happy crochet and i will see you next time stay healthy bye all right so i will list down below all the colors that i use for my granny they are all from the brand barocco the comfort yarn for this granny i used five colors in total my base color was white but of course you can choose whatever color you would like and for the cardigan i used eight skins of my base color which still was uh, the white and then one skin of each color that i used in total I used a four and a half millimeter crochet hook. You will also need a tapestry needle and some scissors. So grab your hook and whatever yarn you want really to begin with. Make a magic circle and chain one. Now inside the magic circle is where you are going to work and you're going to make puff stitches. You're going to make eight puff stitches in your magic circle let me show you how to make a puff stitch so you're going to yarn over pass your crochet hook through the magic circle yarn over and back giving it a little bit of slack so it's not too tight you will have three loops on your crochet hook again yarn over through the magic circle yarn over and back pull a little you will have five loops on your crochet hook and another time yarn over through the magic circle pull a little back right now you have seven loops on your crochet hook now you're going to yarn over through all the loops on your hook and now you see why it was important to give it a little bit of a slack every time you yarned over and went through your circle and back because you have to be able to pass your hook through all those seven loops on your crochet hook you're going to finish with a chain one and you just created a puff stitch look how cute now you need seven more inside that magic circle 
So you are going to repeat these steps seven more times. And I will meet you once you have eight puff stitches in total inside your magic circle. What you're going to do is slip stitch on top of the first puff stitch you had made. And just like that, you finished your first round. Pull on the end yarn to close your magic circle and make a knot to make sure that it doesn't unravel. And now we are going to take our scissors and fasten off. You are done with the first round. All right, grab your second color. In my case, it's white. And you're going to join anywhere in between two puff stitches from round one. So the way I join is I make a slip knot. I put it around my crochet hook, pass it through the space in between the two puff stitches, and then I chain one. Now for round two, we're going to make two puff stitches in between the puff stitches from the previous round. So we had eight puff stitches at round one. We will have 16 puff stitches at the end of round two. So in every each and every space in between the two puff stitches from the previous round, you make two puff stitches. Don't forget to end your puff stitch with a chain one at the end of your puff. Here you have two. I had a stain on my yarn, it's okay. It will be covered. Probably some chocolate that I had. <laughs> ah, silly me. So you see I'm making two puff stitches in between each and every puff stitch from the previous round and I will meet you once you have 16 puff stitches. And here you go, you are at the end of your second round. This is what your work will look like. And slip stitch to end this round at the top of the first puff stitch you had made. And then you're going to fasten up. Every time I fasten off, I tie a little knot for my work not to unravel and secure it. All right, let's tackle the third round now. All right, take your third color and in the middle of two puff stitches, you're going to join the same way I showed you. So you're going to make a slip knot with your new color and pass it through that space in between the two puff stitch chain one. And you're going to make two puff stitches in that space. One and two. And then in each of the next uh, spaces in between puffs, you're going to make one puff. So I want you to make three puffs, one in each next space in between two puffs from the previous round. One, two, and a third one. And then in the next space, you're going to make two puff stitches in the same space. And that is what you're going to do all around. So two puff stitches in the same space, then three puff stitches in one in each space. And by doing this four times in total, you create two little corners and turning the circle into more of a square gradually. And I will meet you at the end of this third round.
Here you go, you are at the end of your third round, slip stitch at the top of the first puff stitch you had made. And this is what your work will look like, it's so pretty! And again, fasten off, make a little knot, you are done with your third round. And you're going to, you know, grab your next color, don't forget to tie a knot. And we are going to join, and you can join anywhere in between any puffs that you wish it doesn't matter for the fourth round take your next color in my case it's orange join the same way we have joined till now in any of your spaces and you're going to make for your fourth round one puff stitch in each and every space in between the puff stitches from the previous round from round three So at the end of round four, you will still have 20 puff stitches in total. I will meet you at the end of round four. And as usual, you're going to end your round by slip stitching on top of the first puff stitch you created. Fasten off and let's tackle round five. And why not take your tapestry needle and sew in the loose tail at the back of your work so it doesn't bother you. All right, we are at round five. Take your next color and join. I joined about on top of the two, the group of two uh, blue puff stitches, two rounds below, but you can join anywhere you want really. And then in the same space in between the two puff stitches from round four, I will make two puff stitches in the same chain. And then what I'm going to do is one puff stitch in each of the next spaces between the puff stitches from the previous round. So four puff stitches in total. And that is what I am going to repeat all around this round five. So two puff stitches in the same space and then one puff stitch in the next four spaces. And I will meet you at the end of this round. At the end of round five, you will have 24 puff stitches in total. All right, at the end of your fifth round, as usual, chain one and slip stitch on top of the first puff stitch you created and fasten off. You're done with your fifth round. And now let's tackle the sixth one, which will be your last round for this granny. But for this round, make sure you join in between a group of two puff stitches because we are going to create a corner. And then with your white yarn, make three chains which will count as your first double crochet and then in that same space you're going to make two double crochets we're creating a corner for your granny you are going to chain one and in the same space make three more double crochets we're creating a 90 degree angle And then in the five next spaces in between the two puff stitches from the previous rounds, you're going to make three double crochets in each space. Five times. Here you go, you can see the corner being formed right there. And then 
are five groups of three double crochets then we'll make another corner and we'll repeat until we have four corners and in between those four corners we will have five groups of three double crochet and i will meet you at the end of your sixth round And this is what your work will look like at the end of your sixth round. You're going to slip stitch on top of the first chain three you had made to finish your round. Take your scissors and fasten off. And just like that, you created this beautiful puff stitch granny square. Now what is left to do now is just to take your tapestry needle and sew in all the loose tails. And voila, you are done. Isn't it pretty? So gorgeous. I love those colors. They're so cheerful now of course you can make whatever you want with these you can make many many of them and make a beautiful blanket you can make a small one for a baby blanket a big one uh, to cover your bed i chose to create a beautiful cardigan if you choose to create a cardigan as well come back for part two and in the meantime for the size medium make 75 grannies in total you see i alternated with the colors of my choice never trying not to do twice the same arrangement and uh, it came out so 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 beautiful so yeah i will meet you soon in the next few days with the part two of the tutorial once you have your 75 uh, granny squares i'll show you how to assemble them and how to create this adorable little curly q border all right i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial as much as i have enjoyed creating it for you i cannot wait to see you next time in the meantime happy crochet bye i'm going to try not to hit on my microphone when i talk this time I'm gonna try my best <laughs> as well uh, as well as all the yarn I as well as all the yarn I oh my god so this is the core I might do it again next up will it really is re um yeah and that's about it so in the meantime, happy crochet. Puppy. Itchy. I'm washing my hands so much, like everybody else. My skin is so dry. I moisturize it all the time, but it's like cracking open. What else can I tell you? Oh, 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 oh.